For some people, it may seem like astonishing news, but Czechoslovakia has been a thing of the past for quite some time now. It's split into Czech Republic and Slovakia. The peaceful character of this event makes it quite exceptional. There was no war, no riots, and no needless death of people. It was a simple political decision. But let's move to the very beginning of the history of Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia was firstly created in 1918 after the dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. In those times, it was a democratic country. After the rise of fascism in Europe and right before the outbreak of the World War II, the country split. However, both countries united again in 1945. Since 1948, Czechoslovakia was under the rule of the Communist Party. In 1969, a federation was created, which was one state comprising of two republics. Although both countries had their own national councils and governments, supreme power was in the hands of a federal government, which was ruled by the totalitarian Communist Party until 1989. After 1989, which marked the end of the socialist dictatorship thanks to the peaceful Velvet Revolution, the federation tried to uphold principles of democracy. Free elections of 1992 had two winners, Václav Klaus in Czech Republic and Vladimir Mečiar in Slovakia. Mainly the latter one wanted to rule by himself in an independent state. However, all the opinion polls showed that citizens were against the country's breakup. For example, according to the poll of the Center of Social Analysis carried out in January 1992, only 6% of Czechs and 11% of Slovaks were in favor of splitting the countries. According to the Constitution of Czechoslovakia valid at that time, the country could split only based on the results of referendum. Although politicians strived to stir up nationalist views in the population, the division of the common state would probably not pass in the referendum. At last, politicians avoided the referendum by a rash adoption of the constitutional law on the division of the country. By this, everything was set. Maybe all this happened because democracy in Czechoslovakia was very young. At that time, it was only three years old. In short, the politicians did what they wanted, regardless of the opinions of their citizens. And it all happened very quickly. Only a month after the elections in June 1992, the prime ministers of the Czech Republic and Slovakia, Václav Klaus and Vladimir Mečiar, met in the Villa Tugendhat in the Czech Republic. This legendary photo of the two of them sitting in the garden was taken there. In those moments, they agreed on splitting the federation. In July, the Slovak National Council adopted the Declaration of Independence and on September the 1st, 1992, even their own constitution. Finally, on the last day of the year, on December 31st, 1992, the Federal Assembly agreed on the dissolution of the Czech and Slovak Federative Republic and creation of two independent states, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Thus, on January the 1st, 1993, Czechoslovakia ceased to exist and a new state appeared on the map of Europe. International media called the splitting of two countries velvet divorce. This is because the event was not accompanied by any riots nor a war. People simply celebrated the New Year's Eve. This peaceful splitting of Czechs and Slovaks is unique in history. Just a few kilometers away, a parallel process of breakup of Yugoslavia ran. And although its citizens had a close relationship and understood each other's languages as well, sadly, this splitting was accompanied by wars and even a genocide. Today, the Czechs and Slovaks call themselves brothers. Many years have passed since the Velvet Divorce and there are still no conflicts between them. They still understand each other's languages, create common TV shows and celebrate each other's achievements in sports. For now, the Czech Republic and Slovakia are two independent countries and there is no discussion about their unification. However, the sibling relationship of Czechs and Slovaks persists and although they live their separate lives, they remain forever connected.